If you watch IRL streamers, you've probably noticed that quite a few of them nowadays are using some kind of GPS map overlay, especially the ones that are riding in cars or, or riding bikes. Unfortunately, most of them are not sharing how to set it up or what app they're using. So in this video, I'll guide you through a little bit of a secret app that more and more streamers are starting to use every day that has become much more than just a map GPS tracker. Let's jump right in. What features are we expecting to see from a really good live GPS solution? Number one would definitely be a simple dedicated mobile app. You don't want to spend five to 10 minutes setting up every time that you're going to stream. You just want it to be one button and you're off. Number two for me would be easy integration into OBS. So why is this important? Well, for a lot of people that aren't necessarily tech savvy, you still want to be able to get this up and running by yourself. Let's say you just use one browser source, you paste the link, maybe you set the resolution and you're done. Number three would be proper privacy mechanisms. This is more important than you think. Every once in a while, it can happen that you forget to turn the GPS off when you're ending the stream and you go home and everyone finds out where you live. I can bet that that would be a real issue for the bigger streamers out there. Number four is an easy one that is just customization. You want to be able to control the size, the zoom, the colors, the layout, whatever fits your use case. And I guess number five is optional gauges like a speedometer. It's always cool to see a speedometer or a total distance travel when you're going on a nice ride. It can definitely create something really engaging and something that your viewer isn't going to enjoy. In the last few years, I got to try all kinds of GPS apps, and I have to say I've been disappointed by most of them. Glimpse was the one that came closest to being the one that I want to use every day, and I did use it for a while, and it was because it had some pretty cool features, but unfortunately, there was always something missing. There was always a minor detail that was bugging me about it, so I ended up not using it anymore. But the app that I want to show you guys is called Real Time IRL. Well, why am I so excited about this app? Well, mainly because it's not just an app, it's a whole ecosystem. I also think this is the perfect app for new IRL streamers. And because real-time IRL's biggest feature is that it has a global map of all IRL streamers that are currently online and using that map. So you as a viewer, for example, can go into their website and just browse a global map of live streams and you just tune into one, check it out. This is one of the best ways for new IRL streamers to promote their stream. Now it comes with two apps, not just one. One is for the GPS part. The second one is a separate chat app made specifically for IRL streamers with some advanced features that you can't find anywhere else. But I'll cover that in some other video. So on the mobile GPS app, you can enable and disable the GPS tracking but it also disables automatically as soon as you end your stream so you don't get that situation from earlier where the crazy fans come to your door. Now the whole map overlay itself that you put into OBS is highly customizable. You can use different maps as well. You can use Google, you can use Leaflet, you can use Mapbox. Not only that, but it comes with optional gauges like a speedometer, total distance traveled. You can choose kilometers or miles. There's also a local clock that you can put in because it automatically adjusts to your GPS position. Another great thing about this is that it's being actively developed and you can leave feedback, you can request features on their Discord. MuxFD is the developer, I'll leave a Patreon down below if you want to support his work. Okay, but can you stop talking to show us some real footage? All right, here is a past stream of mine. And on the top right, you can see that I'm using the GPS overlay with a live speedometer. Obviously, I'm using the phone app, so the phone is the GPS source. And if it's good and smooth, you're going to see very gradual moves on your map. Should look very, very good. Talking about the phone app, have you ever seen a phone app this slick having only one button that you have to click when you start and when you stop? Now, if you want to take it to another level, take a look at my scenes in OBS. So Mux just added a brand new feature that is a full screen map view that you can put in 1920 by 1080 and you can zoom in as much or as little as you want. And if I want to show my viewers where exactly I'm at, I can go into a full zoom and show the neighborhoods around or I can go all the way out and just show the whole continent so you guys know where Croatia is, for example. 
None of this should be hard to set up, there's a full guide on the site. But if you need any help, let me know in the comments below or join our Discord links up here as always. You can also let me know in the comments on YouTube whether I should make a video explaining how to set all of this up. That's it for this guide guys, feel free to subscribe. This is my very first video on this new adventure that is the new YouTube channel Spreezy Tech. I'm gonna be releasing only tech videos on this one, so if you're interested in guides, reviews, etc, hit the sub button and I'll see you in the next one.